Go ahead. Scotty, take it away, brother. Hey, Friday Night Flies. Ah, Friday 13th. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there's some good horror movies on tonight, eh? There should be a good marathon, Jason. Hopefully Friday 13th. Not. I have my mouth full. Sorry. <laughs> Wolfing back a little dinner here. Poltergeist will be on. Oh. <laughs> should be, be some good. good ones on. Yeah. Anyhow, it's Friday Night Flies. We're at um, Spud Valley Sporting Goods, 1380 Birch Street, downtown Pemberton. And Fish Finder, that's who we work for. We take people fishing, so give us a call. PembertonFishFinder.com. To do find out your booking information slash reports get you all our fishing reports. That's right. And hey, uh, let's give uh, this is, run a shout out too because we got this fly from their uh, sport yeah. I, I uh I look at uh, what everybody else is fishing, so this pattern I can't claim fame to it. It is uh inspired by one of theirs, uh, it's a very lengthy name, so look it up underneath the posting mm -hmm. UV blue ache sucking coal hole banker spanker. The spanker. spanker. We'll just call so it. So this spanker. is this is one of their their flies, and they're out of Vancouver, and I know they do a lot of fishing on the coast. And uh, so I've tried it out on our waters. Hot damn. We like hot damn. So they're I, nice. I just took it out. Okay. So I'm gonna put it back in so yeah, that we go can go back to it. What it is. Um. There it is. They got a tire there, and he's a fan of the rubber lake, so that's why you've seen a lot of my flies. In the last couple episodes, have incorporated rubber legs. I was trying it out this year, so I like rubber legs. Yeah, it's been working good. I wasn't. Uh, if you watched me last year, I didn't use too many rubber legs. Maybe one pattern. So I was trying to use it. Which one was I'm that? The scroll tail. What's that? Which one did you tie with the? That had rubber legs. Probably a stonefly nymph. Oh, you, yeah, everybody yeah. uses rubber legs for that one. Yeah. Anyhow, let's get back to time. I don't normally. Anyways, we got our uh, our steelhead hook in there. So it's a size 4, eagle claw styled, and they're by some company that I wish I could remember. But eagle claw. Eagle claw, isn't it? It's a nice, I think that's the style of the hook. and then the other Laser sharp, then? Laser sharp, that's who they are. They're good hooks. They're really strong hooks. Yeah, so we, we beefed it up after I was doing my experimental flies on... Uh, on um, just streamer hooks and a few of those open on these coho and chum we'll see those chum yeah. so got our hook on there we got a bead or a cone head to whatever size you would like to use to make your thing sink and uh, we're going to start building this tail up we're not going to that we're going to this pearl flash couple strands i'm a fan of this in my coho and chum patterns. Trout. I like trout hat way too. I like the marabou better though. But if you have both. And this Chinese food's actually pretty darn good. <laughs> All in right. case you were wondering. In case I was wondering, I didn't get included in the order. Shout out to Centennial Cafe in Pemberton. Best Chinese food around. It is. It's pretty darn good. You eat there all the time. Oh, I love it. They know me by name. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we got our tail on there. I'm just gonna, it's random size. It's not too long, it's about half your shank. Now we're gonna put some marab or marabou around it. Marabou? Marabou. I say it's so American. Must be an East Coast thing. So let's peel off some marabou. Get all the tips the same length. Let the middle stem snuck in. All right, so I got a bunch. I'm gonna get it all together. And put a nice little tail on this guy. Just a little bit longer than that flash. So two thirds of the shank in length. All right, I know last time I shouldn't have cut this off. This time I am, because I am using chenille in the middle, so I'm not worried about my thickness of the shaft all right so we got our orange in there we got our marabou i'm gonna start building this body section so i got some pearl polar chenille cut my off a little bit so this is going to be our ribbing get that tied in next i got some blue crystal chenille i believe it's a medium-sized strand 
cut a length off, expose that thread in the middle, trap it. All right, and then we're gonna work our thread four again. And then we start constructing. Where's my fly? I gotta forget my proportions here. Perfect. Double wrap in this so it's nice and thick. Get it up behind that cone head. Whoop. There we go. I think I need to tighten my vice hook slide in. And now we're going to work this up as a rib pretty sparsely. We don't want to cover up all that nice blue in there. So about three wraps. I have one extra around the head of the cone. I really like that stuff. Get rid of the tag. Right at the cone here. I just like to pull those back and back wrap it just slightly. So just keep those away. And I'm just going to pause here, tighten up my vise. Bingo. All right. A little bit of this. You can use either this blue flashaboo, or I also like putting in, which I did in the original one, with some blue angel hair. They both move a little bit different in the water. All right, get yourself a bunch of thread, strand, sorry. So I started off with Probably about eight. I'll pull them over a little bit. Bulk it up. Stick this on here. And I want it to be just short of that tail. Those are pretty big mice you got in the store, eh? <laughs> the kitty's running around upstairs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're going to hear that for sure, eh? On the video. We'll just go back. Thump, 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 thump. <laughs> it's all good. So we tied in a little wing here. Now I'm going to my rubber legs. We need two of them. Maybe I only needed one. Yeah, I only need one rubber leg. They're long enough. We're going to attach two on each side of this wing. Off to each side of it. So I'm going to trap it in so it's on the side of the blue couple wraps in there. I'm going to pull these tight, trap it on the other side, and get those in position. Beautiful. And just tighten that down so those legs don't move around too much. I like it. Time for the collar. Wrap pink. It's amazing how sophisticated that fly looks, but it comes together pretty easy, eh? Like there's not much to it. No. Kind of like the flies I like to tie. That's the key. Simple. Yeah, it's no Davy McPhail fly if you want to put it that way. No, it's definitely a Vancouver uh, coast fly. West coast. On the Fraser system. I think that's where they're using it on the Fraser yeah. River. Sure. But it works out here too. That's my fly. Pretty or that's their fly. Whichever. I've done them too by using the blue UV polar chenille in there. And all kinds of stuff. Give it a shot. Put it on the end of your rod. You won't regret it. Got some on your bench. Definitely will not regret it. Nope. We're going up top. Okay. So it is. So I'm Boulder. Thanks for watching Friday Night Flies. We'll be back again next week. And we're going to try to get on the roll of getting these going by 5 o'clock. Next week might be a bad one. I'm in Hawaii. Oh, yeah. So uh, yeah, we're going to be gone for a couple of weeks. <sighs> Ooh, one, <sighs> two, maybe three weeks by the time you're back from your vacation. Yeah. Go do some hand I'll lining. Be, I'll be uh, doing some fly fishing. I'll be doing some spin fishing. Probably do some... 
trolling for big salty fish. Yummy. And then maybe a little hand lining too, if I get lucky. It sounds Anyhow, like fun. So that's what me. we'll be doing in the next couple of weeks. Scotty Holmes and I will just be working. And uh, yeah, so look for a post and when we're coming back. Or you can have a post on Facebook. We'll post it on Facebook when we're back. That's right. We'll, we'll give a little warm up. We'll let you know like Wednesday, Thursday. Okay. Oh, or maybe yeah. post a couple flies on mm -hmm. Facebook for everybody. Yeah. All right. Signing out. Peace.